So it's time to turn this to this. All right, so check it out. This is our Super Bowl snack special. I don't know if it's special, but we're still going to do our, our meal prep at the same time. Yeah. So here's the deal. We're not dietitians. We're not any of that. We like our food. This is just a little bit of a healthier option, not exactly the healthiest right. option. But uh, a couple of things that we're going to do here. So we have... Big buffalo chicken wonton. So we're going to use the wonton. I found this one. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I think it will be good. It's gonna, buffalo chicken. That's true. It is buffalo chicken. It's your favorite. She put blue cheese in the front there. Oh, we're putting it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. It might be two or three without blue cheese. Trust me on that. Uh, we have our chicken wings we're going to do in the air fryer. Yes. With uh, the homemade sauce. Correct. So instead of salted butter, we're going to use non-salted butter um, with that. And then the brown sugar. So we're, you know, we're going to take a little bit of the, the salted action out of it. Right. We're going to do... Buffalo chicken meatballs. Okay. That's... Yes, you know, I love buffalo chicken. <laughs> you do love buffalo chicken. That's your recipe. Yes. All right. Uh, we're going to do cheesy bread. Cheesy bread for Logan because, you know, he doesn't need any of this. Right. The kids, I mean, obviously some of this is for the kids too. Uh, we are going to do with the uh, sweet potatoes and the grilled uh, ground chicken. It is sweet potato chicken poppers. So sweet potato chicken poppers with that. That's another one I found, but it's both things that we eat with no problem. Uh, then we have our chicken breast over here. That's going to be part of our meal prep. Uh, some scallions an onion, and all the other stuff that we're going to use. So we're going to use both ninjas. Yes. The oven. Correct. And the top of the stove. And, th and then just, you know, pots or pans on the stove. And we bought new knives. Ooh, yay. We did. So everybody that made fun of us for the last couple of videos. Uh, we heard you. We heard you. We heard, we heard you. you. <laughs> so we got uh, a chef knife here. And then we have a Santoku knife. I like this. This one actually worked pretty well. Chop, chop. Now, I wanted to get a big old, uh, what are those? I wanted to get a cleaver, cleaver, and she told me no. So. Because you're not a butcher. You're not chopping up meat all the time. But a cleaver works really well with chopping onions and stuff. No, I'm good. It would work. You don't chop onions. That's true, but I mean, I chop peppers. Same difference. You can use a, a so chef's knife. We got two, two new knives, and we did use them last night, and yet, well, we used this one last night. Uh, and they work. So, here we go. Snack special underway.
shred this, but this is Bridget's, I call this your quick shred. This is works, it works. This is where we hit the speed up button. So, why don't you measure them? Because I don't. I just wing it. <laughs> because if it fits, look it. They're pretty much the same damn size. I know, I'm not questioning oh. you. I'm asking you why. Oh, because you just... You feel the meat in your hand, I guess, and then <laughs> you just <laughs> measure it. I don't know. Uh. I just... I don't... You have to handle the meat properly. Is that what it is? To measure it. Okay. You just know. Probably about an ounce, ounce and a half. You can get the scale. We can. No, I'll, I'll weigh them when we're done. I'll weigh one. Because they're all about the same.
finished product time. We're going to taste test some of this uh, glorious food. So we'll put all of the um, places I found the recipes in links below in the video. So this is what we got. We got buffalo chicken meatballs here. This is Bridget's kind of eyeballing, but I'll find a recipe for that and we'll get it posted. These are the chicken, buffalo chicken wonton. Buffalo chicken wonton. So these ones are mine. These ones are yours. So I, I told her not to put the blue cheese in. She put the blue cheese in those. All right, let's, uh, you grab one there. I ate one already. We'll grab one again. <laughs> Or you can taste that something else. It's up to you. No, I got this. All right. Okay. <laughs> so. That's pretty good. Here it, we go. It is delicious. All right. <laughs> oh. That's pretty good. That could be dangerous. But the best thing is it doesn't have a normal chip. Right? Right. We could probably get the wontons a little crispier. Um. We followed the directions, but now we know. We use the oven. Maybe we use the air fryer next time. You know. All right. So what we got in the big platter here in the middle. So we forgot to tell you about the carnivore nachos, and this is something that we found when we were doing carnivore, which I love a lot of the recipes on carnivore. Right. Mm -hmm. The carnivore nacho is actually with bison meat, with um, pork rinds, and just cheese on. It. And have we done the bison meat before on these? Yeah, I think we have. Have we? So, this is probably going to be lunch here anyway. He doesn't like sour cream or salsa or anything or guac, so we made it clean for him. Yes. But I will add all of those other things. We did put a fajita packet in mm -hmm. with that. Extra kick? Yeah, it definitely has an extra kick. Definitely. Uh, so, what do we have on the outside here, babe? We have, those are the chicken and sweet potato poppers. Chicken and sweet potato poppers. They smell delicious. I'm very... Excited about tasting them. Actually, you know, I'm going to leave that there. And I already had one of these, but these are good. Um, when you shred, though, I think the finer shreds would probably be better off. Uh, and definitely maybe need a little buffalo sauce or barbecue. Absolutely. You know what I mean? A little bit of cheese. Yeah. Some salt. A little bit of salt in there. But we're trying to do healthier options, so even though barbecue sauce probably is... There's a lot of sugar in that chip, too. But these are really good, too. Yep. So now we have our chicken wings that we did. So we used uh, Kerrygold unsalted butter, mm -hmm. about a half a stick. Uh, I just pour in hot sauce the whole as bottle. we need. That was about a half a bottle. Uh, and then I'll put a little bit of brown sugar, maybe a third of a cup of, uh, of brown sugar in there. And then I'll mix it all together. The wings actually came in the air fryer. Uh, and you've seen us do these before. I th honestly, the air fryer, I think, is almost better than a deep fryer. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, so those are awesome. We've had those before. That's good stuff. My mother just dropped these off. And you can't have wings without blue cheese. I can, but. No, you can't. Weirdos. And then that's our chicken for the week right there. So there you go, man. Some Super Bowl options. We'll put all of the links in below. Uh, she does most of the work. I just kind of film around her, but uh, that was pretty good, huh? Yeah, very good. So there you go, my friends. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Lunch and dinner today. Yes, this is lunch and dinner for today. <laughs> Obviously, Super Sunday is next week. Uh, we're going to have more of this um, and just enjoy ourselves for the game. So if you got a, a sort of a small gathering, big gathering, whatever you got for the Super Bowl, Perfect this is not choice. a bad idea. So there you go.